Good morning. What's up, Timmy? How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, so good. This... Nice to see you this morning. So every winter, you call me and you're like, yeah. hey, I'm gonna pick you up at your house. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I drive you to Felt's Field, which yep. is like five minutes from my house. Right. You jump in the plane and we race. We get to Felt's, I get out of the pickup, he speeds off in the, in the, <laughs> in the pickup, I kind of mosey over to, the, to every, the hangar. Every year I take it as a personal challenge to see if I can beat the beat Kit it. Fox yeah. to Coeur d'Alene Aviation. Yeah, which is about a half an hour drive, right? You know how many times I've won? None, none times. <laughs> <laughs> and I've even tried a few different routes to get it. Yeah. A couple of weeks later, he, he comes and... Uh, we get together and go pick it up. Yeah, he picks me up, we drive, and then he flies home and I drive back. And yeah, and tries to race me again. He's got to get in the kit fox and warm it up and like talk to control <laughs> no. and taxi the out there. check, do all the stuff. You know, wait for the guy, doing touch and go. Right. Get out of the air path. <laughs> and and I'm, I mean, I'm blazing down I-90. Blazing. Immediately know? he left, yeah. Mm. You know, I'm like, it's not my truck. I'll tell him I'm Tim Cobb. Give me a ticket in his name. <laughs> I think one time he even left his wallet in the car. Yeah. I was trying to get a ticket. Trying to get a ticket. That's good. So an annual inspection obviously is uh, very important with with aircraft and components that have, you know, lifespans, right? There's there's lifespans on these things. From the engine to the tail, they get, they get into the back and they get, oh. somebody gets all the way back into the tail to check the linkages, everything that you can't see like that's under cloth. It's somewhat like a very intrusive uh, <laughs> uh, procedure. Procedure. There you go, we'll go procedure. <laughs> they have a checklist, they go down through it, they, then they call you and say, okay, Tim, this is, uh, these are the things that we found. Everything looks good here, but you might want to think about this in the next little bit. You really don't want things to go wrong when you're... This isn't like your car. This isn't like your car when they're like, you know, they're starting to be able to shit. You can let it go for a while. Let it go, and if you have to pull over, you'll be okay, right? This is <laughs> like, not... We'll take a look at that is, next time. This is not what, this is not what it is. These so, guys are preemptively trying to strike anything yes. that would land us, unfortunately, on a hill in... Yeah. You know, well, a, hill, a hill would be fantastic in Pomeroy, not so much if we're flying over downtown trying to get to Feltz, right? And, and something goes wrong. Or and so, like over Lake Shasta. Yeah, or Lake Shasta. <laughs> We've done that too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> these guys, these guys are the best. They're actually Rotax certified. So my engine is a Rotax uh, 914 and they are Rotax certified. So we're going to go see what shape the plane's in today. Okay. So can't get uh, things Let's wrapped go. up. Let's go get the plane. And It's been a little longer than usual. Yeah. I no. dropped you off in January. It's March. Yeah, it's March now. Yeah, we, uh, you know, you just never know how long things are going to take. I don't see your plane sitting out here in front mm, of the building. That's good. It better be inside. Better be inside. <laughs> Staying warm. Maybe they're keeping it warm for us. Did you bring a gift for them? Is you that know, what's happening here? I, uh, I've had this propeller kind of on the shelf for a little bit. Airmaster propeller. So I'm. Uh, we're gonna put. We're gonna put this propeller on. It's got less hours than the one that I got. So. You got it on Timu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Timu. That's the place to buy propeller. Right? <laughs> Good morning. Howdy. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. Good man. Meet Kelly. Cool. How's it going? Nice to meet you. I'm Kelly. Cool. Hey, 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 old girl. Back in the kit fox. It's been a minute. In a minute. Sounds good. Let's fire this thing up and get out of here. Up. Get going, huh? Okay. It's gonna be great. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Clear prop. Clear prop. Maybe it's one of these. Uh, no. What is going on? Maybe we should do a walk around. Let's do another walk around. Let's check. Let's, let's check it out. Let's, let's see what's it. happening here. Maybe there's something missing. Ah, uh, you know our previous walk around didn't have everything that we thought. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> You know, when I when I talked to these guys when I was coming over, it was it was clear that the engine was kind of getting a little bit tired, running a little warm. Got us a a new farmland Fox engine. Looky here, right here on the crate, brand new, straight from the factory. Well, that that explains why it's taken 45 days. <laughs> yeah, we like to recommend oil analysis on just about everything we change oil. Okay, on. all right, that's good. Get it? 
it'll tell you what you can't see, right? Right. So it'll it'll tell you, give you early warning signs of things that are starting to happen. Sure. So, you did an analysis on an aircraft that was yours, mm -hmm. right? This is one of ours. It's got the Rotax 912 in it, very okay. similar. Engine. Okay, very good. Um, just to so, give us a baseline. Yep, is yep. That, this is just to compare numbers okay. here. So we've got, you know, your iron's gonna fluctuate a little bit. Uh -huh. You've got 22 here, 12 here, 18 here. Yeah. And then you jump over to yours. Hmm, 335.6. That, uh, that might tell you that it's eating a little bit of metal. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah. That, yeah. that it's, it's time. It's making some metal It's for making sure. some metal inside of the engine. I'm glad that uh, we didn't learn that our iron was high at uh, 5,000 feet AGL. Yep. Okay. Yep. And this, Here, here's this the comments. About, yeah. Here's the comments. Iron seems really high. Iron can typically be from corrosion, from aircraft inactivity. Not this, not this kid, Fox. It <laughs> runs. Um, wear from cylinders, rotating shafts, the valve train, all other oil values seem fine. We'll continue to monitor your next sample. Please contact the engine manufacturer if further assistance is needed. Yeah, further assistance is needed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know, and sometimes that's okay. You, uh, you gotta, but then you gotta know what you need to know, and then you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, you could look at that and be like, Oh, Kit Fox is taking his vitamins and supplements. Yes, it has all it's sorts of minerals. Iron, it feels great. <laughs> He's taking his vitamin C. It's not a, it's not a high iron thing. We, not we're, not, we're, not, we're not interested in that, no. So what, what was the condition? What, how did you find the condition on this uh, one? There was a lot of grass in there, some, some <laughs> dirt, maybe some manure. Oh, goodness. I, I don't know where the manure came we from. We just landed. Sweet landing, all except for... The cows, but you know when you're when you're when you're coming in, there's these fresh pies right here that then flip up on the wing, and it looks like this one got a little bit into the propeller. We'll clean that up a little bit, but this guy, this guy will alter our aerodynamics, and so we'll make sure to take him off there. What a deal, man! This gives me the heebie-jeebies not having a motor on the front. We bought this motor from Rotax America, or and and that those folks are in Utah, you said? Yeah, okay. And then, and then from there, they ordered it from the manufacturer who's in Canada. Canada. Is that right? Yep. If they had one on the shelf, they were, which was fortunate for us, right? We didn't have to order one to get manufactured. And the, imp the importation process uh, was, was okay. I mean, there were a couple of snags, but for the most part, that thing just landed here tariff free. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had a hustle, we, Cole. We got up, we, we avoided that. A couple phone calls and some yeah. money, and it was here. A couple phone calls and some money. Yeah. That's exactly Sounds how it like works. the secret to life. <laughs> your, your plane was in really good shape still for okay. the type of flying you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you see a lot of people come in with experimentals that yeah. do a lot of off-field landings, yep. and they're in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the lighter you can be on the controls, okay. um, keep the plane going it'll it'll last you a while yeah yep. and then we'll put some new tires on it right those are the new tires oh they're already on yeah. okay Ooh, you got new tires oh already. there nubby's on them that's good stuff oh, there they yeah. are oh yeah now we're now we're cooking so we just want to take a second thank tyler thank cole john over there kirk we're grateful uh to Coeur d'Alene aviation and maintenance for all they've done or all they have continued to do for the farmland fox and excited they said it'd be flying soon right is that what you said Tyler? absolutely i think he's getting a bonus for getting it done like in the next 45 <laughs> minutes right and listen, Something listen. like that we don't rush <laughs> aircraft mechanics right ever right okay don't rush the fans don't need rush. us the fans so. need us That's all right. dozen of them all dozen of them uh it's good stuff but thank you yeah thanks no so problem much. appreciate your time appreciate you. and hey thanks man thank great you so to meet you do good work, all right? Do good Always. work. That's right. Our families <laughs> depend on it. That's right. Thanks, Cole. Yeah. You know, where Coeur d'Alene Aviation started out, obviously the name was Coeur d'Alene Aviation Maintenance because mm -hmm. I wanted everyone to know we also did maintenance. Yeah. We now are, we're, we're still maintenance, mm -hmm. we're flight training, we're aircraft brokerage, we're yeah. charter company, and then hangar construction. So <laughs> it's gone in four and a half years, absolutely insane with, with all these Not things. only can you get someone an airplane, you can build a hangar for them over the top and then take care of the airplane every year. That, yep. That's incredible. Yep. You got it yeah. vertically integrated. June 28th, um, we've got a full on air show. Uh, the, the production company that's putting it on actually puts on, I believe, the Reno air show. Oh, very great. So we have five performers coming. Excited to just see Coeur d'Alene Aviation continue to climb. 
uh, into the the place to be here in the Pacific yeah. Northwest for, for all those things. That's what we're trying for. Uh, yeah, we great. appreciate it. Appreciate it Thank so you. much. Thanks so yep. much, Kurt. <clears throat> well, so let me get this straight. We're driving home. Well, you were always going to be driving home, but <laughs> okay, uh, on true. this one, we both get to drive home because it'll be a few short days not, before not the Not gonna lie, this felt a little like, like a bait and switch to me, Tim. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let this one slide, I guess. Yeah, well, thank you, I appreciate it. When you trust somebody with with your aircraft, it is a long-term thing. And going the, the forward- The plane has stayed in the air <laughs> ever since they've been touching it. The Farmland Fox will actually be there at the air show. We, Kirk and I talked about that. We'll bring cool. it in as a, a static display and, and show the motor that they just put on and, you know, make it shiny and- and uh, they can be talking about Rotax with the Kit Fox sitting there. The, that'll be awesome. And, uh, that'll the be, shiny new Rotax. The shiny new Rotax. Hopefully broken in by June. Uh, right? It'll be broken in by June. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to get some air underneath it. I do love some aviation. You betcha. Agriculture and aviation. Agriculture and aviation. That's what we're doing. We're telling the story of American agriculture that's one exact, flight at a time. That's exactly right. And, and you know what they say. Oh, I do. We, we love, love your dirt. dirt. See, See you later. later. Hopefully we have an airplane. <laughs>